Hello and welcome back to another episode of Rim Wars. Now I've been reading through the comments on the last video. I have left it up for you guys to decide which direction we take the research. And you're on the same page as me. We are going to go with Mandalorian Flight next. Uh, I will hammer out a few of these smaller technologies that I think would be helpful for us before we enter into that very long research stage. We will be placing down another research bench. and. Uh, and then moving towards Mandalorian Flight, which I'm super excited for. A few other things I would like to look into are traveling through our world and taking down some of these bases nearby. I do want to attempt to uh, infiltrate and take down and gather some resources from these guys. I may consider moving our base. Uh, it would be a lot of work, but there is not a whole lot of the Star Wars theme in our area. A lot of these are just base tribes. We do have the Galactic Empire down here that we may attempt to take out, but it is quite a long trip. And so I am open to that idea as well, something I'm considering. But for now, we are going to focus on Mandalorian flight and see what that ship does for us before we make any more solid decisions. There are a few things I want to build up around the colony. Primarily getting these torches switched over to lights uh, and getting some more power running throughout our colony. As well as a comms console uh, that was mentioned, it was something that I had looked at already. Uh, but trading some of the materials that we have already here and not having to wait necessarily for traveling traders. And so we will be working on that as well. But past that, we will be turning this into a rec room as well, getting a little bit better of a situation for these guys, a little bit more comfortable in the rec room and making this just a dining room. With the amount of colonists that we have now, we want to make sure that they are comfortable. And so that is kind of what is going to be happening this episode. We'll see what Randy Random has in store for us, obviously. And so I'm going to go through the research and hammer out a few things and work on that base. And I'll skip a little bit ahead right now until we are a little bit better set up. And so I will catch you guys in a few minutes here. This base will be looking a lot different by the time I come back. And we don't have anyone idle just yet, but we will be approaching that time. Uh, we are researching Bucky and the Lair. Let's just take a pause here. This is an interesting task for sure. Um, I think we would probably want the bionic arm and the shield belt or the goodwill. Right now we are neutral with these guys and maybe some goodwill would be a little better. However, a shield belt would probably be pretty useful. Let's jump to the location. Whereabouts is it? Oh, we need to accept it first. So we are going to accept for the bionic arm and the shield belt. And now let's see whereabouts it is. It is a little ways away. Uh, let's just see how long it would take to get there if we form a caravan. It's going to take three days to get there. Uh, and it expires in five days. And so we would have to leave right away. I think we should probably take this on. Uh, we're not quite ready to accept just yet. Maybe we are. Let's just accept it and see how this goes. And now we'll send Jendo, because I'm pretty sure he could take this base on all by himself. However, we also want to send a few more. Maybe we send Star. They are kind of our worst colonists, as well as all of our colonists do not have weapons right now. I'm not sure what happened for that situation. Uh, but maybe we send Xur. Yeah, let's send Xur. We will get him equipped with a weapon. For some reason, we don't have any on any of our colonists, so we're going to take a minute here and reassign all of our weapons. However, he is a brawler, Xur. So we will get him equipping this. Uh, and we'll just go through and have everyone with a weapon. Oh, we'll wait till Space General isn't broken. Uh, once she is in a better mental state, then it will be a piece of cake sending her. 
Uh, Reveth is incapable of violence. Xur has a weapon coming. Lilhorn as well is already using one. Small, I guess we can get him to use uh, the incendiary launcher. No, maybe we'll get him using the bolt action rifle. It would be good to get some more advanced weapons in the colony, but for now we will leave it how it is. And then Brog, I guess we will equip him with the slug thrower. And then at least everyone now has a weapon on them. And we will go and raid this nearby camp, and hopefully we can get some pretty decent loot out of it as well. Once they all have equipped these weapons, I will wait for Space General to stop binging on food, and then we will move on. We are also running kind of low on food, I'm realizing. I'm glad I noticed it now. We had a cold snap, and it destroyed all of our crops, so it will take a little while to recover from it. Uh, I'm thinking we just hunt whatever is in the area. Maybe a few monkeys as well, or the tortoise definitely. And yeah, I guess the, f the monkeys that are available. And hopefully we can gather some food that way. Most of the animals in the area died of starvation, I believe, during the cold snap. And so super unfortunate that we lost pretty much all of our food and source for it. But, uh, but I'm sure that we will recover okay. There might be a few days where we're pretty low on food, but uh, it shouldn't be the end of the world. Doesn't help that Space General is binging and eating all of our food right now. Um, let's just check her needs. She's in an amazing mood, so I don't know why she is even uh, binging. It should be over pretty soon. And then we can set off on our adventure. Okay, so Space General has finished her mental break. Uh, let's send these guys right away. Uh, because it is going to take three days to get there. So we will send Space General for sure. Uh, Gendo. As well as Star. We'll send the three of them. And I think it'll be a piece of cake. I think it said there was three enemies at the base. Uh, we'll send one of our Bantha Bull. Uh, just so that we have a little bit more carrying capacity. We're moving at 10 tiles a day. Uh, it'll take two days to get there now. I don't think we want to take any of this stuff. However, we will take uh, a lot less meals than this. We'll take... Uh, we don't want to take anything that will deprive the colony of food. So we're not going to take any raw materials. And we will take maybe three days worth of food. I'm sure that they'll have some at that base as well, but uh, just to be on the safer side. And we will confirm that and hopefully they head off right away. Uh, this quest has, oh, it has 23 days. I had five days to accept. That's my bad, but either way, we should get it done sooner rather than later. Uh, it's guarded by three tribes people and so they're going to be able to take this on, no problem. And while they do that, let's take a look at our base here. We are researching hospital beds. Uh, I think we will do medicine production, and then we will just move on to Mandalorian flight. As you can see, everything is ready, and we are pretty set and good to go here. Construction, the only thing that's left is the rec room, but we don't have any more cloth. It all just died in the cold snap, and so it's gonna take a while to get it all back, but uh, everything else is finished for the base. I'm a lot happier with how things look now, and so we should start moving towards the Razor Crest and getting the research done for that. And looking at it, we are running a little low on power, uh, probably not ideal, and so we will just get another solar panel going. And I think it is a good time to build a second research bench, seeing as we are going to be heading into the Mandalorian flight. Getting two researchers on it would be a good idea. Uh, we will we will look at who is our best researcher, second to Terra, and then hopefully we'll be able to power through this. I have made it as clean as possible in this room and as comfortable with the heater, and so hopefully between the two we will get it done fairly quickly. Uh, we have 
all of the material, hopefully, that we need. Maybe we're going to need a lot of components to build this thing, or plus steel or something along those lines, but uh, until then, I guess we will wait and see. Now, I'm also noticing construction is not really happening because we sent out all of our constructors. So we will get Brog to work on the solar generator because we are going to be running out of power in any time now, and so we need another source of fuel. And we have been ambushed. There's only one of them. Uh, yeah, this won't be an issue at all. Let's just send Gendo in with a uh, <laughs> with a quick force lightning, and he'll make quick work of this. And the caravan battle has been won. Uh, let's take this stuff with us. It seems like a very good weapon, actually, right there. So let's get uh, Star to equip that instead. And they can uh, continue on their meal or on their journey. And we will reform the caravan. That was actually pretty beneficial for us. And now we will get there in 0.8 days. And so uh, we should be fairly good on that front now. Uh, let's just make sure we are taking everything that we want. Uh, I guess we will take these as well. I don't know if it's tainted. I don't. Yeah, tainted. So we won't take those. We'll just leave that behind. And we will take the blaster rifle and pass that. We don't want anything that is at this location, and so we will just continue on our caravan. And now we don't have to worry about visiting the dumb tribe to the south, the Ulira tribe. Maybe we'll hit it on our way back and see how big it actually is there, and maybe we can look at taking that on in the next episode. But uh, for now, I just want to make sure that we are in a good spot with the bandit camp. Okay, we have arrived at the bandit camp now. Let's take a look at what it consists of. Uh, let's take a pause. Uh, there are the three bandits that had been mentioned. This is a, a pretty poor colony. Uh, they are just equipped with bow and arrows. I think we could have sent Jendo in this by himself, to be honest, and we would have been just fine. And so let's get these guys a little bit more spread out. And uh, and I think that we'll just demo through this fairly quickly. So there's one down. Uh, we will force choke the next guy, and then force lightning the third guy, and it's it'll be a piece of cake. There we go. And so let's see what the. Uh, what the base actually has in store for us. I imagine they don't have too much. So there is not a lot of stuff at this base. I was really hoping for a little bit more. Uh, we will take the bed rolls as well as all of the weapons. Hopefully we can stop by that base on the way down and, uh, and maybe offer them a few gifts that would improve our relationship. Uh, we will allow all of that. Allow any pemmican, which is really good for us as well as their weapons. Yeah, kind of a disappointing haul. We have received our payment, so we now have a bionic arm and a shield belt, I believe it was. And so let's reform this caravan and drop by these guys on the way back to our base. We'll take anything in the area of any value and probably just drop it off at the nearby colony. Uh, all of these weapons obviously aren't the greatest, uh, and a bunch of tainted clothes would not be much use either. I guess we'll take the table and the chairs. We have lots of carrying capacity, and so we'll take uh, any furniture and drop it off on the way as well. And they should get there by before the day even ends. Research is almost done for the medicine production, and then we will move on to Mandalorian flight. Uh, let's take a look while we're waiting for these guys to arrive at our best researcher. I assume that it's probably Lilhorn. We'll take a look at these guys. Uh, so intellectual for Gendo is very low. Space general is also fairly low. 
and star. Star is sitting at a 12, so he'll probably be a researcher for us when he does get back. And between the two of them, hopefully the Mandalorian flight should... Uh, hopefully the Mandalorian flight will work out pretty decent for us. I'm hoping that it doesn't take too long with the two research benches up. And uh, we need some components before we do build it. But once we have two research benches going and two fairly capable researchers i'm hoping that it'll only take maybe a couple of days in game i'll probably fast forward until we are finished and that's where we'll start off the next episode building the razor crest and yeah i'm really hoping that you guys are excited if you're looking forward to seeing the razor crest in action make sure to hit the subscribe button if you aren't already as well as the like button and just let me know that you are enjoying this kind of content I'm a little surprised at how much time it takes to make YouTube videos. It seems like it would be fairly straightforward, but uh, but yeah, it's almost taking an hour per recording. This is kind of the stuff they don't really tell you about before you start, <laughs> but uh, I am enjoying it, so obviously I don't really care too, too much, but it is just something that I wasn't really expecting, and so uh, yeah, it's just a little side note. I'm digressing a little bit. We do have this mad monkey. I do want to get these guys back before it approaches them, especially Revith. Uh, and I have lost sight of it. Is this it? Yeah, maddened. And so let's uh, let's get Loki here. I mean, the traps should handle it fine, but just in case, we will undraft Revith now. And let's see, where is it? Yeah, and he's already done for. So, no, we don't want to do that. Just clean the dirt or something. But uh, yeah, our caravan has also run out of food. They are running pretty low. I know that they do scavenge some food forage per day. Hopefully that is enough to keep them going. It seems like they should hopefully be okay by the time they get back to base. There is, what, one day left on this trip? 1.3 days. I think they'll be fine. They're not going to die of starvation on the trip, but uh, but yeah, as you can see, a lot of steel that we found. We have found a few uh, compact machinery points, but there wasn't a whole lot. Uh, I do have to reset this strip mine. She has gone through the entire thing. I expected it to take a little bit longer, but uh, I guess we'll just reset it and she can just keep working her way through it. And we will go basically towards the edge of the map. And hopefully we can find some decent... A decent amount of compact machinery. Yeah, hopefully we can find a decent amount of compact machinery. We have only found maybe 14 or so. So we're going to need a lot more, obviously. Otherwise, we're going to have to start trading for components, which we do have some silver now, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I'm also curious if you guys know, uh, drop a comment if you're aware of what it is, but we have these Imperial credits up here, and I haven't run across them at all, and so I'm not sure where we even find them or what to do with them, and so if you guys could let me know in the comments where I can find that and explore that area if you're familiar, that would be awesome. And once our caravan gets back, we will deal with this raid and then end the episode. Uh, it looks like they are fairly equipped with weapons, lots of decent weapons as well. So we really need Gen Do to be here. Uh, they are suffering from malnutrition, which is not the greatest. Uh, hopefully they do not enter from where these guys are and we can get them in here right away. Uh, and then deal with this raid. Uh, it has been about an hour and a half into recording right now, and so uh, I gotta find a way to use a little bit more footage than what I am currently, because if, if I'm gonna continue uploading uh, three to four days a week, we I can't be spending uh, like five, six hours to record those episodes, and then it takes just as long to edit them, because you have to go through each uh, each one and crop out what you aren't going to use and so it's turning into almost like 12 to 15 hours worth of work a week uh, and so there's got to be I've got to figure out something to do where I 
Okay, these guys are beginning their assault. Yeah, I've got to figure out a way to use more footage or pump out less videos. I'm kind of at a crossroads right now. But um, we'll figure something out, I'm sure. And let's get everyone except Reveth drafted and to the front lines here. I don't believe we have... Oh, we still have lots of traps, so which is good. Uh, we should probably get some sandbags built now that I'm looking at this. Uh, that will be fairly high priority. Uh, and it looks like one of them will be going for the Bantha cows, which sucks. We also need to stop them from going in here, so building a wall there will be a pretty high priority as well. And who do we have almost ready to break? Star. So let's just undraft Star. It's not going to be... Oh, no, stop that. Okay, we're, he's not going to get undrafted just yet. And we should probably stop the Wampas from being in the front lines as well. Uh, luckily, they aren't equipped with any melee weapons, so he is making pretty quick work of them. As soon as they start firing their guns, that's when we really start to see some... Uh... Shut that door, shut that door. There. Yeah, as soon as they start firing their ranged weapons at the Wampa, that's when they really go down. They are fleeing, so it wasn't too difficult of a task. Let's get uh, one colonist to capture whoever is left, not Star. We will capture both of those. I don't want to reestablish any relationships with Misery Rig, so maybe we harvest these guys for organs. I'm not quite sure what to do with them just yet. And someone is exhausted. Space General, but they are on a, another break. We are going to probably run out of food pretty quickly here. Uh, so, yeah, the next episode, will, it'll be a little bit of a rough start, but we'll be okay, I'm sure. And we will check these guys' bios. One is a really good cook, uh, which would be good to add to our colony. The other one, not super helpful at anything, although strong passion for mining, and he would build that skill pretty quickly. We do need quite a few miners on our squad in order to find all of the materials that we do need. Okay, so now that we have everything under control, a few things I want to do just so I don't forget for the next recording. Uh, we will build a wall right here just so they stop trying to destroy our crypto sleep caskets. And we will get this Bantha saved. And then that will be the episode. So I'm hoping you guys are enjoying the series. We will be moving forward with the Razor Crest, which is super exciting. I don't know if I've seen this covered by anyone yet, and so I think it's a pretty brand new for everybody. We'll get it researched, and then we will see where the series is going to take us from there. But we will be uh, looking towards some new stuff. And so, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm at Switz, and we will catch you on the next one. Music